Good morning, it is June 27th, 2022, and I am heading up to the Pikes Peak Reservoirs to meet Ben to go fishing. It's really easy to get there. If you're on the interstate, you're going to want to take Highway 24 West to get up to Pikes Peak. Before we go, we're going to stop at a place called Rudy's Barbecue. They have really excellent egg burritos, plus a lot of other great things. I hear that this is the place to stop when you go up the mountain to go fishing. A lot of fishermen go there. Okay, we are at Rudy's Barbecue. It is off of 31st Street. It's right before you start heading up the mountain. Here's Rudy's Barbecue. There's Ben. Gonna fill up for about $150 of gas today? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have our breakfast burritos and we are off to the reservoirs. Really excited about it. It's gonna take probably about half an hour to 45 minutes to get there from where I'm at. The drive up Highway 24 doesn't take very long, but it is the drive up the mountain that takes a few extra minutes. It is a really beautiful drive. Can't wait to show you. These are the breakfast burritos from Rudy's. They're amazing. Mine is loaded with egg, brisket, cheese, and potato. And they're huge. I like to get two of them so I can eat one on the way up there and if I'm going to be there for a few hours, then I have another one to eat. Here we go, heading up the highway. We're gonna make a left on the Fountain Avenue to Pikes Peak Highway. It's only about four miles up from Rudy's. Hey, here's the gate. Okay, we're going up and up. When you're driving down, you don't really want to use your brakes. You want to keep your car in low gear. I believe we're coming up on Crystal Peak Reservoir, which is closed right now. They are resurfacing the dam so it is completely empty. It's really a sight to see right now. You don't get to see a reservoir completely empty. So pretty cool. Here is the sign for Catamount Reservoirs, 400 feet. Here we go, we're gonna make a right. And we're gonna head down. Here is the parking area. It's pretty limited, so I'm sure it's really busy over the weekends. They have a nice restroom facility right there. Okay, here we are at South Catamount Reservoir. We're gonna do shore fishing today because I don't know how to get the boat down here. There is a nice trail and there's plenty of fishing spots here. We just happened to get to the closest one to the parking lot, which is pretty nice. Short walk. Okay, we're here set up. What are you fishing with? Oh, that's cool. He's got a hook on his back, so I put the bait on the hook. We'll see how that does. I'm gonna go for a power bait with a bobber, and also I'm gonna use this guy again, Tasmanian Devil. The pink seemed to work pretty good. Hey, here's power bait. First cast in the morning, the catamount. Fish on. It's a biggie. Tasmanian devil. Oh, it came off. Damn. 
All right. That's a nice one. Check that out. He's getting dizzy. That's a nice one. First fish brought in of the day. Here's another one. This is number three or four, but the other ones, this looks pretty small. And he's gone. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm serving up an underwater buffet for these guys. They just keep taking, they take the hook and eat the bait. My bobber goes down about 10 seconds, comes back up and there's no fish. So I went with a larger hook. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll be the difference. This, this is getting, I didn't, I didn't come here to feed fish all day. I have fish at home I can feed. <laughs> ben and I did find the boat ramp behind us. It was roped off at the top, so um, you need to just unhook that rope and bring your boat down. I thought it was a no trespassing area, so I didn't bother. So next time we come here, we're gonna have to get the boat out. My fish somehow came off. I think so, Ben's gonna have to wait in and get it. Not really supposed to go into the water, but I don't want my fish swimming around. <laughs> With that. <laughs> With the big chain around them. <laughs> Good job, Ben. Colorado Parks and Wildlife are gonna stock the reservoir so we have some good fishing. They're gonna come shooting out of this tube. There they go. It's amazing! Look at all those fish! They just keep coming and coming! What kind? There's rainbow trout that they're stocking. Kill them! Look at me! Look at me! No, the water is this way. The water is that way. I think they have another tank. They have another tank. There they go. Woo! Welcome to your new home. You got it much better than the fish in Palmer Lake, I can tell you that much. Colorado Parks and Wildlife, they just dumped 3,000 rainbow trout in the South Cottermount Reservoir. It's gonna be great fishing. I think Ben and I are gonna have to stick around a little longer. Okay, this may be cheating a little bit, but I'm gonna go over and cast out where they just dumped all the fish. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, I'm going over. They're all over here. All over here. They're over here. Watch, they're probably too fr- No, they're gonna bite. I think they're gonna bite. You can see them all, it's crazy. Line up, fish on. 
It's sort of cheating. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, literally. They're small though. Okay, okay. All right. I know. I know you were just in a, like this big tanker and you were shipped from somewhere and now you're stuck here and you're pretty small, but thank you very much. Have fun. Welcome to Catamount Reservoir. Oh, this is a good one. I think I'll put this one back too, though. So. That's a nice rainbow trout that they stocked. Look at that guy. Oh, there he goes. Come on. This is getting to be a little too easy now. I think this is the most excitement Ben and I are going to have all summer. Well, at least me. It is around noon and Ben and I are going to take off. We've been here for about four hours. It has been an amazing day. Only reason why it was really amazing is because they released all those fish. But uh, really cool. We had a lot of fun here catching all those fish. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. I'll see you next time.